You just can't make this up, man. You know? And I, I just don't get it, man. But you know what? This lady knows how, how, how the machine works. I got to give it to her. She knows how the machine works. You know? And like I tell y'all, man, they are rigging this machine up as we speak. You see, the machine completely turned off and, and glitched out and malfunctioned uh, during the debate with uh, Joe Biden. And um, now they, they, they got the machine back up running again. They added new parts to it, you know. <sighs> oh, t uh, Tampon Tim. But uh, President Trump, what well, we're going to show y'all. Um, has agreed to all three and wants to do three debates with the vice president. Um, I, I, I believe that's, that, that's fair. We need these three debates, y'all. Comment down below what you think about these three debates. But as you can see, she's a, uh, let's go and roll the clip. Can't make this stuff up, man. You know, people are, are clapping this on. People are celebrating. You know, but we are in big trouble, man. Look where we're at in this country. Look at the last three and a half, four years. Lie to the American people. The same lady that told you Joe Biden was sharp as a tack. Look at the record. Look at the job she had and, and, and didn't do it. We're among failures. Then when you say DEI, they call you racist. They call you this and that. But it's the truth. Didn't earn it. Not qualified. Hasn't gotten one vote. Hasn't gotten one vote. I think we, the American people, deserve three debates. I think the American people, I think we all deserve three debates. And if she goes out there and blow the water out on Trump, then she didn't, didn't hey. And I think it is what it is. But she knows how this, this, this machine is, 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 plan, is planned out to be. You know? Madam Vice President, Donald Trump agreed to three debates. Will you be participating in all three? I have always been on record. I am looking forward to debating Donald Trump. And we have a date of September 10th. I hear he is finally committed to it. I'm looking forward to it. What about the other two? Let's make sure we get this vote. However, everyone's looking right here. Right. What about the other two? Madam Vice President, Donald Trump agreed to three debates. Will you be participating in all three? I have always been on record. I am looking forward to debating Donald Trump. And we have a date of September 10th. I hear he is finally committed to it. I'm looking forward to it. What about the other two? What do y'all think of that, man? Well, let's jump in. Like I say, man, it's all going to come down to common sense, man. Facts over emotions. But as you can see, we, the times that we're living in, common sense is far, far gone. And, you know, there are people that, 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 that knows what's right. There are people that know what's going on. But they're still in their feelings. They're still going off the emotions. Common sense, man, is what it's going to have to come down to. But again, you see tons of tons of people waking up, tons of never Trumpers, tons of Democrats that are on the Trump train. We are in big trouble, man. And I'm going to just keep it real. And I'm going to continue to keep it real even after this election. But we are in big trouble. And who knows what's what, what, what. Man, prayers for America. Prayers for you guys and your family. Because we don't know what to expect next. As you see, things are collapsing. Wars. You see, markets are crashing. It's getting serious, man. We are in big trouble. And Trump, and Trump he knows that. But we've allowed the media to build a candidate in here 
Uh, just a statement before I talk about debates. I think that our country is right now in the most dangerous position it's ever been in from an economic standpoint, from a safety standpoint. Uh, both gangs on the street and, frankly, gangs outside of our country in the form of other countries that are, frankly, very powerful. They're very powerful countries, and we don't know what we're doing. We have leadership that has no clue how to handle them or how to handle any other situation. We have a... Uh, we have a lot of bad things coming up. You could end up in a depression of the 1929 variety, which would be a devastating thing. Took many years, took decades to recover from it. Uh, and we're very close to that. And we're very close to a world war. In my opinion, we're very close to a world war. We have people that don't know how to handle it. Uh, they're not respected. All over the world, they're left at. And we can't have that. Most dangerous period of time I've ever seen for our country. With that being said, uh, we have somebody that hasn't received one vote for president, and she's running, and that's fine with me. But we were given Joe Biden, and now we're given somebody else. And I think, frankly, I'd rather be running against the somebody else. But that was their choice. They decided to do that because uh, Kamala's record is horrible. She's a radical left person at a level that nobody's seen. She picked a radical left uh, man that is, uh, he's got things done that he's, he has positions that are just not, it's not even possible to believe that they exist. Uh, he's going for things that nobody's ever even heard of. Heavy into the transgender world, heavy into <laughs> lots of different worlds, having to do with safety. He doesn't want to have borders. He doesn't want to have walls. He doesn't want to have any form of safety for our country. He doesn't mind people coming in from prisons, and neither does she, I guess, because she's not, she couldn't care less. She's the border czar. By the way, she was the border czar 100 percent, and all of a sudden, for the last few weeks, she's not the border czar anymore, like nobody ever said it. And I just hope that the uh, media becomes more diligent, more honest, frankly, because if they're not going to be honest, it's going to be much tougher to bring our country back. We have a very, very sick country right now. Uh, you saw the other day with the stock market crashing. That was just the beginning. That was just the beginning. It's going to get worse. It's going to get a lot worse, in my opinion. And uh, fortunately, we've had some very good polls over the last fairly short period of time. Rasmussen came out today. We're substantially leading, and others came out today that we're leading, and in some cases, substantially, I guess, MS, NBC came out, or CNBC came out also uh, with a poll that was, you know, has us leading, and leading fairly big in swing states. In some polls, I'm leading very big in swing states because they want safety. People want safety. They want security. They want respect all around the world for our country. They don't want this, this horrible uh, culture that is developing a culture of no common sense. It's really a culture of no common sense. And it's culture of no common sense. Hit it right on the nail. The woke culture. And as you can see, everything woke has turned to the culture of no common sense. Simple as that. It's not what anyone wants. We want to have a safe country. We want to have a strong military. We want low interest rates, and we want to be able to have the American dream. We want to be able to have our youth be able to buy homes, housing, get good jobs. And we're really just at the opposite right now. It's so, it's so sad wow. to see. But as a border czar, she's been the worst border czar in history, in the world history. Uh, I think the number is 20 million, but whether it's 15 or 20, it's numbers that nobody's ever heard before. 20 million people came over the border in the last, during the Biden-Harris administration, 20 million people, and it could be very much higher than that. Nobody really knows what the number is. Nobody knows. Nobody has a clue. And uh, the gotaways, they call them the gotaways. The gotaways are at numbers. Somebody was uh, quizzing me on it the other day. No, no, I don't think so, sir. I don't think so. Uh, they have no idea what those numbers are, but they're much higher than you would think. Just like far more people were killed in the Ukraine-Russia war than you ever report. Just like the uh, October 7th would have never happened, Russia would have never hit Ukraine had 
the election result been called differently. Uh, it was a very bad call, but Russia would not have attacked Ukraine. October 7th in Israel would have never happened. You wouldn't have inflation. A lot of great things would have happened, but now you have millions and millions of dead people and you have people dying financially because they can't buy bacon, they can't buy food, they can't buy groceries, they can't do anything. And uh, they're living horribly in our country right now. With all of that being said, I think it's very important to have debates. And we've agreed with Fox on a date of September 4th. We've agreed with NBC, fairly full agreement, subject to them, on September 10th. And we've agreed with ABC on September 25th. So we have those three dates and uh, those networks, uh, they're very anxiously awaiting that date and those dates. Uh, so we have September, September 4th, September 10th, and September 25th. Uh, we have spoken to the heads of the network. I say she does the, again, stand on your, stand on, you said you wanted, you would bring your record, you, you would back your record up with Trump any day. Any day. Come on. Come on, man. You know, come on. Give me a reason to believe. Give me a reason to take off this hat. Give me a reason to take off this hat. Go in there and defeat Trump. Because that's what we all want to see, man. Back that record up. Tell the American people what you going what you going to do, what you going to set in place to fix what's going on right now. The economy. The words just, 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 just Come on, man. Give me a reason to take off this hat. Y'all know I ain't taking the hat off, but. Go on, man. Millions of people are dying, struggling, declining right now. Especially under your uh, the Biden-Harris administration. You haven't gotten one vote yet. Not one. So I say, do the three debates. Even the people on your side, even the Democrats, even on the left, they're saying, let's do the three, three debates to Kamala. Even your side is saying, let's do the three to debates. But y'all see everything that's been trending lately. You seen her standing up there with Joe and Joe's trying to figure out what she was saying. You see, you, you see all these clips. And it's all been confirmed uh, other than uh, some fairly minor details, audience, uh, some location, which which city would we put it into? But all things that will be settled very easily, very, I think it'll be very easy. Uh, the other side has to agree to the terms. They may or may not agree. I don't know if they're going to agree. They, she hasn't done an interview. She can't do an interview. She's barely competent, and she can't do an interview. But I look forward to the debates because I think we have to set the record straight. Why is it that millions of people were allowed to come into our country from prisons, from jails, from mental institutions, insane asylums, even insane asylums? That's a... Uh, it's a mental institution on steroids. That's what it is when you see the people that are coming into our, these are institutions that are being emptied out, not in South America, all over the world, including South America, all over the world. Prisons are being emptied out into our country because we have a president that's the worst president in the history of our country. We have a vice president who is the least admired, least respected, and the worst vice president in the history of our country the most unpopular vice president, and because of political reasons or because of uh, being politically correct, 
even though she never received a vote. Don't forget, she was the first one defeated, as I remember it, because I watched it very closely, but she was the first one. She never made it to Iowa, the first state. She never made it to Iowa. She was the first one that was defeated. She was the nastiest to him. She was nasty with the calling him a racist and the school bus and all of the different things. She was very nasty to Biden. And shockingly, he appointed her, asked her to serve as vice president. Well, uh, I don't know if he's happy about that decision right now. This was taken away. The presidency was taken away from Joe Biden. And I'm no Biden fan, but I'll tell you what, from a constitutional standpoint, from any standpoint you look at, they took the presidency away. And people were saying he lost after the debate. He couldn't win. Well, I don't know that that's true necessarily. But whether he could win or he couldn't win, he had the right to run. And they took it away. They said they're going to use the 25th Amendment. They're going to hit you hard. Either we can do it the nice. I heard. I know exactly because I know a lot of people on the other side, believe it or not. And... Uh, they said, we'll do it the nice way or we'll do it the hard way. And he said, all right. So that, I mean, they've really taken, what they've done is pretty incredible. Uh, oh. <laughs> I know y'all laugh when he said that, when he, all right. <laughs> Cause that kind of sounds like Biden. All right, all right, I'll step down. Poor fella, and he and he, you know, and, it, and I know it, it, it hurt him, like, because you know, you know, his ego, his ego to beat Trump, man, that ego. But, um, you know, that machine broke down, and they said we can do this the easy way or the hard way, but we're gonna get this machine back up and running. We are not against the candidate, we are against the machine. Uh, and now I'm running against somebody else and we're leading. We're leading. So I'm not complaining. I'm saying it's a for a country with a constitution that we cherish. We cherish this constitution to have done it this way is pretty severe, pretty horrible. Uh, you would have thought they would have gone out to a vote. They would have had a primary system. They would have done something. But to just take it away from him uh, like he was a child. And he's a very angry man right now. I can tell you that. He's not happy with Obama, and he's not happy with Nancy Pelosi, crazy Nancy. She is crazy, too. She's not happy with uh, any of the people that got them box wines, and she's drinking tequila. Nancy, breathe in this walkie-talkie, ma'am. <laughs> breathe in this walkie-talkie. Ma'am, you're coming with us. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back, ma'am. And we know what happened on J6. Hands behind your back. You're coming with us. Told him that you've got to leave. He's very unhappy, very angry. And I think he also blames her. He's trying to put up a good face. But it's a very bad thing in terms of a country when you do that. I'm not a fan of his, as you probably have noticed. And he had a rough debate. But that doesn't mean that you just take it away like that. You, or you go out to a vote. You do something. He had 14 million votes. She had no votes. She got no votes. And uh, I think she's crashing. I think when people find out, and I think people are starting to find out what a bad job she did, what a bad job she did on the border. She's trying to say she had nothing to do with the border. She had everything. She was appointed to head the border. And then they said, borders are, oh, she loved that name. She loved that name. But she never went there. She went to a location once along the border, but that was a location that you would love to go and have dinner with your husband or whoever. And that was a... Uh, location that was not part of the problem that was not really going to the border so I, essentially she never went to the border and if you listen to tom holman if you listen to the great border people brandon judd from the border patrol if you listen to paul i mean so many different people i speak to them all the time and i did when i was president we had the best border in the history of our country now we have the worst border in the history of the world millions of people coming in and our country cannot sustain it our country is going down because of this because of incompetent people so i just look forward to these debates i think it's very important that we have them i hope she agrees to them september 4th september 10th september 25th and uh, i think they'll be very revealing I think they'll be very revealing. very revealing. Do you have any questions, please? <laughs> hey, Sean. Man. But as you can see, she's already chickened out.
And we don't see those debates happening as of right now. Um, she's only agreed to one. And um, the woke one, the one on the woke media. And um, now I do believe that Trump is probably going to suck up his pride and do what he does and walk in the lion's den, no matter if the odds are against him or whatever. And he just, you know, he goes in there and ah. You know, but uh, as you can see, she's not trying to go for the, the Fox one or, you know, it's, ah, you just can't make this up, man. You just can't make this up. But this has been one, 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 one hell of a year, y'all. 2024. How about that for you? 2024, man. A very important time in all of our lives, man. Very important election. And we are in big trouble, man. As you can see, we are weak. We're a laughing stock. Millions and millions of people declining, struggling right now. Wars, markets collapsing. Just can't make this stuff up, man. Border wide open. Nothing's being checked. Nothing. Crime is through the roof. But hey, de abortion, defund the police. Hey, Project 2025. Just continue to wipe Trump through the mud. Dictator. Hitler. Racist. Threat to democracy. All right. It's so all going to come down, man, to common sense. But as you can see, common sense is far, far gone, man. And Trump hit it on the nail. A culture of no common sense. The woke culture. But hey, let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. And I will catch my beautiful brothers and sisters in the next one, man. Peace and love, y'all. Yeah.